Hey guys, let's understand this problem. This problem says following data gives the number of children in the 40 families. So here this is the data for the 40 families where here where one represents number of children in the first family, two represents number of children in the second family and that's how it will go on for all the other observations. So using all these observations what you need to find out? You need to represent it in the form of frequency distribution and how are you going to do that? Let's see. Here this table represents families with children and the frequency related to those children. So for the zero children in a family, so how many families are there with the zero children? There are exactly five families. And for the one children, there are exactly seven families with the one children. There are exactly 12 families with two children. There are exactly five families with three children. And that's how it will go on for all the other families. So when you sum this frequency, you will get 41 instead of 40. So there is actually little mistake in the RD Sharma. So you need to correct that there are 41 families, not 40 families. Because when you're going to sum this frequency, you are going to get 41, not 40. So the, this frequency is actually the number of families with the given number of children. So now you must be wondering how did you find out these families? Let's see. Families with zero children. So here in this observation, what you are going to count, you are going to count the number of zeros in this observation. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are exactly 5 zeros which represents 5 families. So that's why there are zero children, there are 5 families with zero children. I really hope there should be no doubt you needed to represent frequency distribution. So you, you have represented the frequency distribution for all these given children. I really hope there should be no doubt I will be taking more problems in the coming video lecture. Thank you.